Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand isolated footing or you can also call it isolated foundation. Basically, isolated footing is just an example of shallow foundation. In a building, if you have seen a column grid and the columns are arranged like this. So we have one column at this location, we have one column at this location, we have one column here, we have one column at this location, we have one column at this location. So this is basically the plan and view. We have one column at this uh, location and what we basically do is for this column we provide a foundation so let's say this is the foundation then for this column we provide another foundation for this column we also provide another foundation then for individual columns we provide foundation so for this column this column this column we provide a separate foundation now if we cut a session like this, this is what we are going to see. So we are going to have something like this. So this is going to be the column. Then it is going to extend like this. So this is going to be the footing. So this is the footing. It will extend like this. So this is how it will look like. So basically this is the ground level. So this is the ground level. Then by this distance, this distance from the ground level to the subsoil, that is where the foundation is resting. Normally we have 1.5 meter. So normally the distance is 1.5 meter. Then this position where the foundation is resting this is called the subsoil so we call this subsoil and the reinforcement is going to come like this so it's going to come from the column so it's going to come like this then to the footing like this like this now after applying concrete to this foundation if we try to use vibrator to vibrate this part of the footing that is this loopy part it is going to be very difficult for the workers to vibrate um, this uh, session because as you can see this part is sloppy so whenever they use the vibrator to vibrate the concrete the concrete at this part is going to get flattened so it's going to be very frustrating for the workers so when this happens the workers they tend not to use vibrator to vibrate this part so in order to prevent that structural designers or geotechnical engineers what they do is they basically extend this uh, footing they extend this footing like this then they make this flatten like this. So they make it flatten like this. So we now have the footing like this. So it goes like this. As you can see, it goes like this. So it's going to be very easy for the workers to use the vibrator to compact the concrete. And we also do this for each individual columns. So this is what we call isolated footing. So this is the meaning of isolated footings and I hope it was helpful. If you are new to my channel, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel in our tutorial because I make civil engineering construction videos like this so that whenever I make a new video, you will be the first to get notified. And with that being said, you all have a good and a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.